Why, hello and welcome back. We're back. 2324 Upper Deck Series 1 has been out for some time now. In this video, we're gonna do a couple of things. The first thing we're gonna look at, if you know me, if you've seen my videos, I'm big into multiples and ratios of young guns versus parallels and different ratios of different cards. But anyways, we're gonna take a look at that for the new parallels that are within 2324 Series 1. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some Connor Bedard price predictions, okay? So first off, in this new set, you can see here we got the OV, which is a base card, but this is the Outburst Silver, so really nice design there. We'll take a look at a couple pictures. They look better in the other pictures, but very nice cards. Ridley Grieg here. This is the Young Guns one of one outburst gold. So obviously a lot of people are going to be chasing the Connor Bedard outburst gold. That will be the chase card and should be really fun to watch the chaos that ensues. Uh, here's the Young Guns, all of the parallels. So we have the outburst silver, unnumbered, no odds. They're not rare. I think it's a little bit interesting to see how the base Young Guns do with the Outburst Silvers, because to me, it's sort of like the Young Guns Canvas Blacks. Like I think they sort of take away value from the regular Young Guns Canvas, because if you really want the card, you'd more than likely want the black, would you not? Maybe I'm wrong there. Leave a comment below if you have an opinion on that. Like I think the Outburst Silver sort of takes away a little bit from the regular Young Gun. Having said that, I like the Outburst Silver much, much more. Um, anyways, that's the first parallel. Then there's a clear cut one in 144 packs. Newly added the Deluxe out of 250. So looks the same as an exclusives numbered, but it says Deluxe and it's numbered out of 250. Then we have returning the exclusives as normal out of 100. The Outburst Red, probably my favorite especially if you have a team that color matches well. Numbered out of, 20, out of 25. And then returning as always, the high gloss out of 10. And then the outburst gold, which is a one of one. There will only be one made and it has this beautiful gold background because in sports cards, we like gold, all right? Within this set, there is an unannounced Connor Bedard card now. When this card first came out, it was everyone was putting short print and, you know, using different terms to try and create like it was a super scarce card. It turns out this card is not scarce at all. You can go on eBay right now, I'm sure, and find a hundred listings for it. However, the price has held up relatively well, currently selling at around 437. And this is all in US dollars. Um, over here, first sale showing at, or first 21, sales averaging at 639. So based on those sales down about 31%, 32% on the Bedard card. And we'll see what happens. I think that's actually held up probably a little bit better than I thought. I thought it would have been down to about $300 by this point. And as always guys, we're using market movers. So I'll put a link up there, 20% off. Even if you have a current market mover subscription, you can put it in lap 20 off and you'll get 20% off for life. Or if you just wanna try it out, you can use that code. And I believe there's, you can get your first month for $1. I'll have to double check that, but using market movers as always, there's your Connor Bedard. Let's take a look at the first multi at the first parallel here. We got the outburst silvers. So the ratio on the outburst silvers is about 2.8, so close to three. And for those that don't know what a ratio is, what we do is we take the price of the base young gun. So let's say that that's $10 and then the multiple is 2.8, that would put the multiple at roughly a $28 value. Now this isn't rigid, it's not hard and fast, but what this does is it gives you a good idea. Like I said, there's been a bunch of sales now that the product's been out long enough. So it's just a baseline, it's just to give you an idea. And what was funny is I looked at this um, a couple weeks back, right when the cards came out, and I did some ratio calculations really quickly on my own, just pen and paper, jotted stuff down, and they were pretty close to this. The market is pretty rational and pretty logical and they've sort of figured it out and they priced this out very well in terms of the distribution of the ratios. So anyways, we'll take a look at it further. Outburst Silver is going at about three times the regular Young Gun. We'll take a look at Matthew Nyes here. Just take a look at his card and sort of a better image of what this card would look like in hand. Still not a great photo, but there it is, the Outburst Silver. Then we got the Deluxe, which are a regular card, but they have the out of 250 on them. 
so we can see some outliers here that sold at 26 times multiple, $16 multiple. Typically, if they trade as an outlier like this, it's because they're a lower dollar card. When you get into 30, 40, $50 cards, here's a $15 card, which is higher dollar, relatively speaking, in Askarov, Yaroslav Askarov, and he's trading right at the median at 5.4. So the higher dollar the card, the closer it tends to trade at this uh, medium price. Dustin Wolf, another $15 card right around there. So a 5.4 multiple on the Deluxe out of 250. Next one we got is a clear cut. This is one in 144. This has a multiple of eight. Then we have the Young Guns exclusives returning, which is out of 100 at about 12 times. This is a ratio usually I thought of in the past at about 10 times. So the ratios are coming in really close to where they have in the past. And they just, it, it's funny how they just tend to hold and the market figures it out. But that's the exclusives. We'll look at the Outburst Reds next. One of my favorite cards, we'll take a look at the Ridley Grieg here. Like if you're an Ottawa Senators fan, this is a great card. You got the red color match with the red Sens and the red logo. Purple, the purple actually I think looks sort of nice with the red as well. I, I don't understand why you'd go with purple in general, but that's fine. Pretty nice looking card. I do like these outbursts. So I, in the past, I wouldn't buy a Young Guns or keep a Young Guns. Like I have no Nathan McKinnon Young Guns, no Kale McCarr Young Guns in my PC. Actually, I lie. I do have two Young Guns in my collection. I have a Kale McCarr Silver Foil PSA 9 which I want to send back and get a 10 anyways. And then I have a Miko Ratten in silver foil. So the only young guns I have in my personal collection are parallels because I just think that the base card is for me boring. It's snoozy. I like the parallels. I like speckles, but I think this is a great move by upper deck to bring in parallels to what is the flagship product. And you know, the cards, the rookie cards in hockey, a great idea and a great step forward. So that's the Outburst Reds. Those are going at about 30 times the base. And the last one that we have is the High Gloss. So these are going at about 61 times. You can see there's obviously only been a couple of sales. Ridley Grieg, $12 card or so and sold for $902. And again, that is US. So again, I can't stress this enough. These aren't hard and fast these numbers, but they're gonna give you an idea to quickly price a card and just to get a number in your head. Much like a PSA 10. A PSA 10 for the most part is about three times the value of the base card. It used to be four, that multiples come down. If you're looking at an EPAC exclusive speckled, the multiple to a PSA 10 is only about two. And they're just a quick way to come up with a rough estimate of price. Okay guys, let's do a quick recap here. We got the Luke Hughes outburst gold one of one right there on the side. And we'll take a look at the multiples from this once again, because I know we went really quick. Outburst silver 2.8x, the base young gun 2.8 times. We got the deluxe out of 250, which is at about 5.4 times. We got the clear cut at about 7.4 times. Exclusive out of 100, 12 times the base. Outburst red out of 25, about 30 times the base. And then the high gloss about 61 times the base. So you can sort of see how the market figured out in terms of scarcity. You have a good amount of distribution between each of the parallels, but that's what they were going at. Now let's take a look at Connor Bedard and do some price predictions here. So we'll take a look. If we use those multiples and we can guess Connor Bedard's price, we can get an idea of what those multiples are gonna go for. So here we got the Connor Bedard Young Gun. And by the way, that is not a real Connor Bedard Young Gun. It's an image that I found. I believe it's a custom card. So that's not what his Young Gun is going to look like. But I just put it up here, obviously for aesthetics. So let's take a look at the base Young Gun. I'm going to guess that the base Young Gun goes for around $800. And I'm using Canadian in this. I'm thinking 800 Canadian. I think there's going to be sales initially when it comes out around maybe up to 12, 13. But people should also understand how many of these things there are going to be. There are going to be tons. You think that Connor McDavid PSA 10s and BGS 9.5s, you think those pops are high? You haven't seen anything yet. The amount of Bedards that will come out will be absurd. That's ultimately going to drag price. But I think people still 
pay way too much initially. So I'm gonna guess that to be around the 12, 13, 14 hundred dollars for the initial sales. And I would say over the course of the next couple of days, it comes down to around $800 Canadian. And that's sort of what I'm basing the, the pricing of the other parallels on. So if it's an $800 young gun, that would put the outburst silver at around $2,200 Canadian, which is about 2.8 times. The deluxe out of 250 at 5.4 times multiple would put it around 4,300. So we're getting into some pretty pricey cards. I mean, out of 250, that's a lot more desirable card to me at out of 250 than the outburst silver at about half the price. If you believe in Bedard or, or whoever your player is, if you like someone else in the set, the, the deluxe out of 250, I think brings a lot better value because I'll tell you those outburst silvers are a lot more than 500 print a lot more but that's the deluxe we got connor bedard at 4300 the clear cut gonna be about a six thousand dollar card i think my guess just my guess guys exclusives about 10k 9500 dollars and the outburst reds about 23,000. that's using the multiple i think it may go a little bit less than that maybe it's 20k but somewhere around there if we just stick with those general those multiples that we've gone with thus far and then the high gloss at 61.3 times would put a connor bedard high gloss at about 50k so 50k for a brand new connor bedard high gloss numbered out of 10 there's gonna be alexi lafreniere high gloss when it came out was being bought at i believe 12 to 15 thousand us so i don't think that this is outside the realm at all if nothing else, this high gloss number could be a little bit low. Let me know what you guys think down below. Of course, we haven't covered the outburst gold. Guys, leave a comment below. How much do you think the Connor Bedard one of one outburst gold will sell for? Will it sell? How long is it gonna take to get pulled? I don't know, guys. But thanks for checking out the video. I appreciate all of you, and we will check you.